Hey everybody, it's Matthew. Thanks for watching my channel, Giddy Up Adventures. Today we're going to talk about the 2022 Overland Expo. So before I talk about what Overland Expo Pacific Northwest is, I'm going to talk about where it is. And that's my old stomping grounds, Redmond, Oregon. So right in the central part of central Oregon, there's beautiful forests, big open desert, there's mountains, there's even sort of uh, lunar landscapes that look like some other planet up by uh, McKinsey Pass where the volcano flows have made these black uh, crazy piles of rubble but there's a little bit of everything you can have uh, river canyons that are in the desert or snow snow capped peaks just a beautiful extraordinary place to be so as far as what overland expo is it's a lot of things from our perspective we were camped by the motorcycles so we saw a lot of motorcycles and tents but to some folks it's a lot of rigs like this. They are vehicles meant for overlanding that can get you there and have you camping in comfort. There's every possible iteration of these vehicles from affordable to these $200,000 things and some retro vehicles that are pretty sweet. I love this one, so cool. But uh, yeah, this one too, it's just like, you'd have to win the lottery, but pretty outstanding but lots and lots of cool stuff to see and people who have used these vehicles too. So people that have traveled all over the place inside these interesting things. I lusted after this thing so bad. My grandpa had one of these when I was a kid and I never owned one. So someday maybe. This was a three day event and there was so much to do. One of the things was to go over to the skills course and practice things like riding in ruts or hopping over logs. Here's Kyle doing a big jump on that log. Another guy struggling a little bit. Here's me taking a stab at the log. Just practicing that compression and getting used to it. Practicing body position on these whoops. Lots of fun. There were also lots of classes you could take. So uh, I actually lectured at two of these, a round table and then Discussions where people came and talked to me about the subject matter in my book, which was facing fears while traveling, but really great information from people traveling everywhere. There's my buddy Kyle again, and yeah, we, we met so many people from all over the world and were hosted by really competent, talented people that also travel a lot, but the variety was amazing. These folks said they actually uh, wear those clogs while they're riding their Harley. All these people were camped right near us and so many laughs, so many fun stories. We shared stories with these two folks about riding uh, to similar places in Idaho. This guy and I geeked out about bicycle travel. Somehow or another, uh, there was a gentleman with a sidecar and he loaded his cot and his tarp structure all in there riding his motorcycle. This gentleman was from Romania. That guy's got his first bike. This is our buddy Jeff that was camped right next to us. A lot of fun, lots of laughs. But yeah, so many people sharing good times. This woman is sort of the essence of what Overland Expo is. She's riding her Suzuki DR650 down to Argentina, and she's able to rub elbows with and ask people who have done that journey just how they do it. One such couple is my new friends, Tim and Marissa. 
These folks were uh, sharing the author's tent with me and Tim and I got to talk a lot about what it's like to self-publish and tips. We had tips for each other on how to market books and I had a thousand questions for this couple about their adventures and got to ask them all sorts of things about international travel. But mainly it was fun just exploring the area. I got to play tour guide and show them some of my favorite things in the area. We had such a good time. Yeah, it was the debut expo for Pacific Northwest. I'd never been to Oregon before, and I was stunned by the scenery around the expo. You could see yeah. all of these white-capped mountains, and the turnout was amazing. Turnout was amazing. I think my overall enjoyment of the expo was, you know, uh, you know, a whole bunch of factors, but it's. Uh, it's it's the people we get to talk to to be yeah. excited and we used to be on the other side of a lot of these round tables and stuff and so it's really cool to be part of that you yeah, know the, the presenters themselves it's fun to chit and chat with them because yes. you know about our different experiences on the road and not just in theory but the funny things that do happen mm -hmm. i mean the the staff is, it's like getting the band back together you know it four is, times it a is. year it's like hey you know it was but, uh, perfect weather but that is the number one thing that was so special about the expo is just seeing so many like-minded people yeah. together getting inspired to get on the road again and being able to reconnect with all of those wonderful and travelers and meeting new friends yes. hopefully the next expo you know it's just i know it's, it's just synergy. This growing growing amazing vibe that yeah. uh, I'm glad that has extended out to Oregon because yeah absolutely yeah. it was fun so yeah it was really delightful to meet this couple the no tears and they gave me so many tips on how to help uh, with my YouTube channel and stuff that I'm not super savvy about and when I read Tim's words in his book it's a lot like Tim the person he is razor sharp witted and really quite funny, but then also has some pretty keen insight. So uh, do yourself a favor and pick up one or all three of his books and then check out their YouTube channel. I will leave um, in the space after this video, I will leave a uh, link to that. But uh, really enjoyed riding with these guys and then showing them around my neck, with neck of the woods. And because of people like them, I will definitely be back at the next year's 2023 Overland Expo in the Pacific Northwest, which is in Redmond, Oregon. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, hit subscribe. Thanks.